today I'm going to be trying to make a planted frog paludarium out of this uh, five and a half gallon tank here. I have uh, these pebbles that I got from my grandparents' yard. I have window screen, which I already had. And then these are a bunch of rocks that I've just gathered uh, in various places over the years. And then I have some sand. I have some dirt. I'm gonna go out and get some plants and moss. I have a lot of stuff here. What I'm trying to do is to build this entire paludarium without spending any money at all. A 100% free paludarium. It's not necessarily free because this stuff does cost money, obviously, but I already have it. So if you have these things or similar things, then you should be able to make one for free as well. Let's get started by putting down um, this drainage layer, which is gonna be made of this gravel. I have the false bottom layer sort of laid out here. I also have this big rock here as you can see, because basically what I'm doing is this is gonna be the water area. And water is gonna pool in this gravel layer, but it's gonna be exposed out here, which is gonna make a body of water. And what I'm gonna do is cover that with a layer of window screen. And then this is gonna be covered in soil for the plants. And this is gonna be land. The window screen prevents uh, the false bottom mixing with the dirt. Okay, I cut the window screen out, so I'm gonna try to lay it in here. Well, this is approximately what I want. Well, I'm just gonna make the call here and cut the screen. So now, if I do it like that, this is definitely leading me to where I wanna be. The water level could be around here. This could be like transition. Put some mosses there. I don't know. Maybe I won't even use that rock because I do have another big rock here. It could look good like that. And I'm thinking I could have some taller moss in the back like sphagnum moss and then some flatter mosses down there. Well, I have made quite a bit of progress since that last clip. I probably should have done a better job at documenting it, but uh, as you can see, I have added some sand, I put in the water, I have some rocks and some driftwood for the hardscape. And I've also went outside and collected plants, including some moss. Oh, I also have some leaves. Uh, and then I have some plants down in there that I'll get to. I have some up there too. Well, there it is. The tank is planted and hardscaped. Um, it probably would look better if I could buy plants and I had more options, but these are all just plants that I went and found outside. I do like this piece of driftwood. I think that brings some interest on uh, some texture to it. And then I have this plant here, which is probably the tallest, and I believe that's some kind of thistle. I don't really know much about plants though. I know this is partridge berry. It's a good ground cover. And I kind of use it to wrap around the driftwood like vines. And then I have various kinds of mosses. Uh, this is sphagnum moss. Right now I'm satisfied with this and I hope the frogs like it. I think they will. There should be enough hiding places in there for them. I also added some leaf litter on land and in the water. This back corner, as I was gathering plants, I actually noticed, oh, this is heavy, wow. A little diving beetle. 
I can't show you now because it's hiding, but if it comes out, I'll try to film it. And I also just remembered that I actually have some moss balls that I can add to the water section too, so I'm gonna go get those now. I'm just gonna put it in there and see how that looks. Unfortunately, the water's kind of cloudy right now, so it's hard to see things, but I'm hoping uh, that'll clear up overnight as all the sediment begins to settle out. I think that looks okay. I might take it out eventually though, but for now, I'll just leave it in there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go get frogs for this tank. It'll probably have to be spring peepers for now because those are the only things that are out that are small enough to put in this right now. But later in the year, assuming I keep this tank, I might add in other types of frogs, like tree frogs, if I can find them. Okay, well, I just put this up on the shelf here and I have a light on it. And I think it looks pretty good. Just not quite as much foliage as I would like, but I'll take what I can get. As you can see, the water is super turbid and cloudy. You can't see much in there right now, but I'm hoping that over time it'll clear up and look better. Well, this is that beetle I was talking about. Anyways, my name is Aspen Entomology. I will see you in the next video, hopefully soon. And thank you for watching.